Welcome to Cribs. In here in the office, huh? Yeah. I wish it was better looking. But I do have a sick poster. Didn't you get that for like Christmas or something? My dad got it for me for my birthday. Oh, nice. Hanging it. Sucks. All right, so these are the new, the new stuff, right? Yeah. So we got the I Never Narked On Nobody sticker. I don't know if you can tell, but if you put it in light. Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty glittery. Yeah. So you got those. You got a glittery uh, S3 Mag sticker, pink S3 Mag sticker, and then black, and what is this, gray? Or no, this is glittery too. Yeah, they yeah. call it like uh, neochrome or oil slick or something like that. Let's see if you bastards can do 90. I, which I now know is from... Did you watch it? Back to the Future. No, you told me. I have not seen it yet. I have not seen Back to the Future. I haven't seen a lot of movies. They always make fun of me. Because anytime we go somewhere, me, Mike, Willie, Jesse, they're always like making jokes that every the whole world understands. <laughs> and I'm just like, whatever. Also got new shirts. S3 Mag, Speed Style Sound. On the front pocket. And then on the back. Same thing, just a little big, bigger. What is that supposed to be, a piston? I really wish that we could make this, like with it tattered like that, we could make it into decal. However, it's very difficult to make like that. Like that wouldn't be, if you did that in vinyl, it wouldn't be worn like that. I love our subscribers, because right now this shirt is like, with shipping, it's $23. I think it's like $20 for the shirt and a um, two-year subscription. All the dudes are getting the shirt and the subscription, and when I'm putting them in here, I'm finding out they're all already subscribed. What did we just get an order from? Australia, mate. Uh, Joel, uh, crap, Chong. <laughs> <laughs> we just got an order from Australia. Uh, I'm about to, I'm gonna try to FaceTime Jesse. Jesse loves doing an Australian accent, and he's pretty dang good at it. So let's see if he has anything to say to our... Just call him Joel C, that's what his name is. Joel C. Brother! Bro! What's good, brother? All right, so we're at Wally's house, we're filming. We just, we just got an order of a t-shirt from an Australian. So no fucking way! <laughs> Bro, listen them some more merch than just the shit, they're going through fucking hell out there, bro. That's true. They're going through a lot. Yeah, I wish they'd be sick of the fire, but that joke might not. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I might not sit well right now. Yo, send them some merch for real. I got it. He does need some death tags. Yeah. Let me see. So the new issue is about to come out in like the next two weeks or so. And we're trying to handle basically the distribution, finalizing everything so that they can print it and send it out to you guys. But yeah, so if you don't have subscriptions right now, you can get that black t-shirt that I just showed you. And it comes with a two year subscription, right? Mm -hmm. Two year subscription, so 20 bucks. Now the next goal is food. We gotta go to the post office, do drop I'm off the orders. So are we jeeping it? But you guys, there's no fun in the rain. The Porsche windshield wipers don't work. The CRX doesn't have wipers or a sunroof. Or a sunroof. And if we try and move the Pathfinder, I'm gonna cut tracks all through the yard. So, G. You can't go anywhere with S3 without getting nachos or a burrito. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty true, actually. I kind of acquired this 1990 F-150, uh, so we're going to go kind of kick tires and throw wrenches at it and see what we got exactly because it's, it's not running. The story on it is it is my wife's or it was my wife's grandfather's car. He passed maybe 12 years ago, something like that. My wife's mom, who we're pulling in at, at my wife's parents' house right now, um, <clears throat> she got it when he passed and they were driving it around and it was kind of a secondary car. Something happened. They think it was transmission related. Uh, and just like that, it's been a decade and the car hadn't run or moved. Um, and I don't know why all of a sudden I kind of saw it again for the first time. Um, 
but all of a sudden it started bothering me you know it's like that's grandpa's truck it wasn't my grandpa but they they, they you, you understood what their, it, their family yeah. is very very tight you know and i was like i understood what it means and i was like is it bugging you that that thing's just sitting there rotting and she goes oh yes i just wish you'd do something with it so uh i was like all right well you know just sell it to me for a dollar and I'll start seeing if, if I can get some resources and money and maybe some advertisers and stuff to get involved and see if we can kind of restore this thing a little bit. So that's what we're going to do right now. Um, as far as we know, the engine ran when parked. So you know what that means. That was 10 years ago. Uh, so it's going to have its, its fair share of issues. Uh, the transmission's probably bad. Uh, the only caveat is that I really need to keep it automatic uh so that the family can drive it it's going to kind of be a family truck a little home depot truck or whatever i'd like to lower it a little bit get it kind of spicy crispy whatever you want to call it get a fresh v8 sound maybe supercharge it keep keep it retro keep it what it is i don't want to go too stupid i don't want to necessarily bag it although i might want to bag it uh, i came over here yesterday and just kicked around a little bit pulled spark plugs squirted some oil down in there turned the motor over by hand um i think it needed a starter so i went and got a starter got a new battery we're just gonna kind of see if we can get it to do something i'm not expecting much but whatever let's go look at it i haven't even day. seen it it's a rainy day the issue's done we're gonna go play what's the story on the blazer oh uh mr prince got this car in like 1980 either 80 or 81 had it since new hmm. the interior on this thing isn't bad i love that it's red right it ran when parked but like that's the era that it last ran i see you i see you look at this look at what i'm dealing with <laughs> yesterday when i was kicking around this thing i was racing the sunset and uh trying to get this thing in here and the dang thing just wouldn't go so I decided to leave it for today, but like it was going almost flush and then wobbly wobbly just a little bit. So I'm trying to stick a little bit of grease right around this corner because it's got to be the right part. That didn't last long. Wrong starter. Well, you knew that was going to happen. So basically, Wooly said there is like, he's like, I'm telling you there is a millimeters difference. Well, okay. So here's the frustration. It doesn't fit. No way around it. The dang thing didn't fit, but it's so close that I'm like, there's no way that there are two different options that are within like a, a half a millimeter. But then, so you I called your buddy. Yeah, so before I went full time with S3, like I've, I've said before, I used to work at Advanced Auto Parts. Well, I, I didn't leave on a bad note, so I'm still friends with all the guys that work there. So I just called one of them up and I'm like, hey, cross reference this starter number. Tell me if there's a different starter. Uh, and then my buddy reminded me that in trucks like that, or for really any vehicle like that, there's a difference between an automatic and a manual transmission starter because the bell housings are different. And he said in some cases, it's literally millimeters difference, like Wooly said that it looked like it was. So sure enough, cross-reference the number. We had a manual transmission starter. The truck is an automatic transmission. So now we're on our way back to AutoZone to remedy the situation, hopefully drop the starter in. For manual, right? No, I, we need it for an auto. Here. Do I even want those, or is that just going to complicate my life? Uh, See ya, thank you. Yeah. I'm so happy. Uh, Thanks, Matt. Yeah, shout out to Matt. this dude, Matt, that works at an Alabama auto <laughs> no advance, advance and knows his stuff. This is going to work. Absolutely. It's going to work. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Make me look cool when I'm getting under this thing. Well, what the hell do you know? Did it go right in? Yeah. <laughs> it was meant to be there its whole life. All right. Let's take a minute to think. There is oil. There is oil. Earl in the car. Earl in the car. No spark plugs. There is a battery, there is a starter. No spark plugs, no battery starter. Filter. No fuel filter to pump out the bad fuel. So theoretically. No compression. No compression. Theoretically, that thing's in park, make sure it is. 
and the little gauge doesn't necessarily work. So just make sure it's all the way up and turn the key. It should at least go. Here goes nothing. All right, so it's turning over. Is it pushing the fuel out? Woo! Uh-uh. It's not doing that. I just switched the pump. All right. So tell me if anything happens. It's pumping fuel? Okay, so that so you know that your front fuel pump is bad. We need, do you have a jump box? Yeah, what? You probably need to put a jump box on that battery because we're going to sit here and... Drain it. Speaking of draining things. Go pee. I gotta take a wait. We're back! Yeah! Yeah, we're back! Hi! <laughs> we came to the conclusion that the fuel tank is already, or just about empty. There's not a lot of fuel in it. It's a plastic tank, so there should not be any rust in the fuel. And if it's already low, there shouldn't be that much bad gas in it anyways. Um, so, we're gonna put the new fuel pump, fuel, Jesus. Filter. Put the new fuel filter in. Yeah. Put new fuel in it and just fire it. Right? I got a gap for spark plugs. What did you say they needed to be gapped to? 44. All right, so putting gas in it, oil, spark plugs, basic tune-up, fuel filter, starter, everything. Everything should be good to go. Just so American if we can just get an old truck running, right? <laughs> I want to do this. This is a bucket list thing. I need to get an old farm truck running again. <laughs> feel like next stop, man at comedies. Starting the old farm truck, part one. <laughs> Take one. Well, that's an inconvenience. <laughs> is that him? <laughs> All right, I'm going for it. Wait, 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 stop, stop. Turn it off. No, turn the switch on. Don't start it. Let it prime the fuel system. Cycle that like three times. No! Oh! She wants to go. She wants it! <laughs> Come on, Ford. did it it ran we're good here <laughs> let's return the go return the battery get whatever money we can back out of this thing <laughs> Woo! all right i'm gonna see if it'll idle Not a very happy idler. Oil pressure according to the gauge seems okay. Volts are good, no temperature. Fuel says full, but that's clearly not true. There it goes. It's idling under its own right now, but I feel like we need to bring it up just to... You need to check and see what the procedure is for checking the trans fluid. I don't know, I think you gotta have heat in it, right? It depends on the vehicle. I don't know what these damn automatics do. It depends on the vehicle. Sometimes it has to have heat. Sometimes the transmission fluid has to be cold. Sometimes the vehicle has to be running. Sometimes it has to be off. Sounds like a question for Google, huh? Or the <laughs> owner's manual that's right there. Right, there it is. It's not knocking. It's got a little bit of a valve tick. I think that's just due to the old oil. I think that might clear up. It sounds like it might have some type of vacuum leak. All right, so it seems to be idling pretty happy. I noticed that there is definitely some type of consistent drip right here. It's red. I can't really get a good film on it because it's dripping from right here. It's one of the lines attached to the radiator. Um, it could be 
It could be a power steering line. It could be a transmission line. We're hoping that it's a transmission line because this truck was parked to begin with due to a transmission issue. If it was leaking trans fluid, that would explain why it would have been slipping. In theory, we might could replace that line and not leak trans fluid. And Depending it not how have bad a it problem. got, we might be able to add fluid and save it. Yeah. At least long enough to put a supercharger on it. <laughs> And how <laughs> much we have right back here. It seems happy. It sounds good from out there. I think we need to figure out how to bring the idle out. It's got a little bit of a valve tick, but I think that's just lack of circulation for 10 years. Let's cut that muffler off. Alright, so we got the leak coming from the... Uh, Does it have a trans cooler? I'm assuming. Yes, yes. There is that bastard. Yeah, that, I see it. That thing. You see it? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, right well, here. right at the bottom of it. Yeah, look, right there. Keep that light on it. That fitting is leaking. That's what caused the transmission, the fluid to go down. That's what caused the transmission to act up. We pulled the grill off because we could see it was obviously leaking from this area. Um, and then uh, when I put a wrench on it, it was super loose. So. Either it came loose or somebody didn't tighten it, but we don't really know who'd be back there. Maybe an O-ring or a crush washer like disintegrated and that allowed it to become loose. We don't really know. So we tightened it. We're gonna clean it up, let it run for a second, see if it keeps leaking. If it does, we'll put a new O-ring in it. I can't believe we got it running. That's not YouTube BS either. Like I literally cannot believe we got it running. <laughs> this wasn't like some stage drama thing where we knew it was gonna start. Like that was just pure luck, man. Um, and then this, this excites the hell out of me because it doesn't seem to be leaking. That was the problem. Let's hope it didn't kill the transmission. So I'm gonna come back, put fluid in it, and there's no brake, zero. So we gotta deal with that. Yeah, got our fair share of problems. But dude, it's running, and I can't freaking believe that. And if you want to see, like, if you're actually, we just did this for fun, yeah, let me, right? Yeah, let us Do know. Do you if like you this? Do you want to see this thing be put in a position where it can drive? I know, like, I know that we have a lot of projects that aren't. They're all done. starting. They're all starting. And I know this would just be another one. But if you guys are actually interested in this, then we can make it happen. 